Hey guys, Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Welcome to my 35 week pregnancy update. Oh gosh, I feel like I have so much to talk about in this video and I feel pretty good. So this one's gonna end up being a little bit longer and I wanna jump right into it. I'm gonna start this video the same way I start every video. I'm gonna show uh, the picture of the baby from my Pregnancy Plus app. Um, so there's what the baby looks like at 35 weeks and here's the scale size. Um, sorry, the lighting's kind of weird in here, but there's the scale size of the baby. So the baby is between five and six pounds now. Um, it says 5.78 pounds on the app, but that's just an estimate, obviously. Um, and what does it say for the baby for this week? It says your baby weighs about six pounds crazy like that is crazy to me and will gain approximately one half of a pound per week from now until birth the protective fat layer will make up about 15 percent of his weight at birth even though his gums have ridges and look a bit like teeth the real ones won't make their appearance until about four or five months after birth his cheeks are developing fat the cheek muscles are developing creating that lovely chubby appearance if you're carrying twins you may go into labor anytime now Again, not carrying twins, but crazy. There isn't much room to move around anymore, although you will still feel regular movements. If you notice a dramatic increase or decrease in movement compared to your baby's normal daily activity, call your doctor immediately for further advice and directions. Don't wait for your next appointment and never think your concerns are silly. The doctor will probably ask you to come in for an ultrasound so as to check your baby's heartbeat. Um, and then it does talk about um, your body a little bit but I feel like none of this stuff pertains to me really so I'm just gonna talk about what is actually going on uh, with me this week but that's a little bit about the baby so like the app said um, the baby's movement did kind of change for me this week last week I was talking about how uncomfortable it was that he was constantly kicking me in the ribs and he was just moving so much that um, I was finding it hard to sleep, etc, etc. This week he's still moving a lot. He's just, it's more crammed in there and I feel more like he's like rolling side to side and less um, kind of drastic punching and kicking. So it's a little bit more comfortable. The other thing that makes it more comfortable is that he definitely dropped a little bit. Not a ton, like I don't feel like, you know, there's a bowling ball between my legs or that he's like in the birth canal. Um, or anything like that, but I do feel like he's making his way down there, which is new for me because my first baby, and I talked about this in a couple of videos, Wilson, he was completely sideways transverse until the day I went into labor. So he was completely sideways up way too high. I was almost 40 weeks pregnant and I got out of bed and stood up and he literally, I felt him drop. Um, so that was a big difference. This is more of like a gradual drop and what's coming along with that right now is I'm having really intense period like cramps at night and I'm going to talk about that um, in more detail right now. So right now I'm actually 36 weeks pregnant um, but I usually make these videos and talk about like the week that just passed. So during week 35 um, for about three nights in a row towards the end of week 35 and, and still now, like last night, I started having dull period-like cramps and that's all it felt like. It felt exactly like my period was coming and it would happen um, at nighttime. So when I would get in bed at night, I would start getting mild period-like cramps and they would get a little bit worse, a little bit worse, a little bit worse but it wasn't coming like in and out in waves like contractions. It was just more of like a steady feeling um, in like my uterus, I guess. Um, and, it, and it felt like I was gonna start my period. So I wasn't concerned. Um, I'm not telling you not to be concerned if you start having cramping um, at 35 or 36 weeks because I had none with my, with my first son. Um, but I just wasn't concerned. They were very light. They were very mild. Um, he did just drop down a little bit. The other thing that's different for me than a lot of you guys is that I have so much access to my doctor um, and I live two minutes away from the hospital and I'm a nurse. If they got progressively worse in the middle of the night, um, I would just probably go in 
and get checked just to make sure uh, that there wasn't anything more serious going on. But um, And they offer that service at our labor and delivery department. Um, if you are concerned and you're over 20 weeks pregnant, you can go in at any time instead of going through a merge and they will hook you up to monitors and just kind of check you over and make sure that there's nothing, you know, fishy going on. But anyway, um, I've been having the period type cramps. They start, like I said, when I lay down in bed at night and I'm still kind of feeling them when I go to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, I feel like they're kind of peaked but I'm also I've been laying kind of in the same spot for a long time and then when I get up and move around and drink water they go away so I'm having no cramps right now and I don't expect to have any today I just have them at night when I'm laying down so that's kind of a new symptom and again a symptom I didn't have with my first pregnancy um, and I am 36 weeks pregnant so it's kind of like it doesn't concern me I'm just kind of happy maybe that my body is getting ready to have the baby because you know, I would like to have him like on or around his due date. I don't want to be that person that goes like two weeks over um, just because I know my personality and I'll just be super anxious and I just want the baby to be here. So, um, so yeah, so that's been going on. I'm still having like an awful time sleeping. So I'm still having insomnia. Last night at like one o'clock in the morning, I got up and I got in the bathtub and change my pajamas into clean pajamas because I just felt so uncomfortable. I just needed to get up and like start over. So I got out of bed, I got in the tub with like Epsom salts for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And then I got out and I put one of my husband's thin, like really thin old cotton t-shirts on and a pair of really thin, really loose pajama pants. Um, and I brushed my teeth and I drank some water and I got back in bed and then I was able to have a better sleep. But I feel like if I would have just laid there trying to sleep, I never would have fallen back asleep. I'm still up to pee every like five, 10 minutes when I first go to sleep at night. I do that about five, six, seven times. It's super annoying. <laughs> And then once I fall asleep for the night, I'm usually up to pee one or two more times. So that's really not that bad. It's just kind of a pain. But um, so that's one of my symptoms I'm still having. I still have to pee all the time. Another symptom that I'm having is that I um, am itchy. And I said that before. People were talking about, I think pups it's called. There's a rash that some people get when they're pregnant that is actually a little bit concerning. Um, but I don't have that. It's not that. It's just like a general dry skin kind of itchiness. And I've gotten that um, every time. It sounds like I have a million kids. I've just been pregnant quite a few times in the last couple of years. Um, and I had a couple of miscarriages. So I've had like a few different pregnancies. And every time I was pregnant um, for the first like four or five weeks, I was itchy. So I really think that it's hormones related. Last week, I think that I said I was having little tiny bits of swelling in my feet at night. It hasn't gotten any worse, which is great because in my first pregnancy, I had a ton of fluid on at this point. So much that I used to have to wear my husband's like size 11 Crocs and socks and it was the winter time. Or I was also wearing, I have like a pair of slippers that kind of looks like shoes that have a hard plastic bottom. That was literally all I could wear on my feet. Like it was real bad. In last week's video, one of my main symptoms was back pain. Since the baby has dropped a little bit, it is definitely a little bit better, but I have been getting back pain very, very specifically in one spot. And I'm definitely going for a massage this week, but like right here on like the upper side of my back, um, I get pain there every single day. And it's usually the worst if I'm sitting at a chair. And I've been sitting at a chair at my kitchen table editing and doing different things on my computer quite a bit. So if I sit there for any more than 15 minutes at a time, I'm getting that pain in my upper back. It's on both sides, but it's just really more so on this side. One thing I don't really talk about in these videos a whole lot is stretch marks. And that's something I feel like a lot of YouTubers talk about. I don't have any stretch marks and I, um, I'm 180 pounds right now. I haven't put cream on my stomach once or oil or done anything like that. 
Um, I just think it's genetic. My mom is a tiny little person. Like she's like five foot two, 115 pounds or something like that. And she was a massive when she had me and she has um, no stretch marks. So I, I think it's kind of genetics. I also don't have any stretch marks from when I was pregnant with my son. As far as food cravings and all that kind of stuff goes, I'm still kind of the same. I'm still not really craving anything. I feel like my appetite is totally normal, totally the way it's always been. I don't have any food aversions anymore. I don't have any nausea. Um, I do feel like I tend to get bloated a little bit more easily, but other than that, like, I just feel like my diet right now is the exact same as it was before I got pregnant. I think I make more of an effort to eat more fruit and vegetables and just eat a little bit healthier, but um, all of that stuff is just kind of normal. Because I'm a second time mom, I feel very relaxed about bringing a baby home. I feel like if I went into labor right now, which I don't want to, but if I did and we were unprepared, um, you know, there are there's a grocery store, there's a Walmart, there's everything really close by. Um, and it wouldn't be difficult for me to get somebody to pick up the things that I need. So I'm just not too worried, but I do like to be prepared. So there's a couple of things that I went out and bought um, over the last couple of days that are kind of making me excited. So my nursery is done. I'm gonna show you guys that next week. Um, and I am missing a few key things, like I don't have a car seat yet. Um, I'm probably going to order that this week. I don't have a baby swing yet. I'm probably going to order that this week um, or buy that this week. And there was one more thing. Car seat, swing. Oh, and I don't have a little bassinet. I'm going to have to get one of those as well. I feel like one of my friends has one or something like that that we've been passing around. So I'm just going to look into that a little bit. And if not, I'll get one. None of that stuff is crazy expensive. These are open because I wanted to look at them. Um, but I just went out and I bought a small pack of 31 Pampers Swaddlers. The only reason I bought a really small pack is because um, if you've had a baby already, you know that some babies don't fit in newborn diapers for very long at all. I just wanted enough to like last a couple of days and bring the baby home in. Um, so look how tiny these are. Like they are so little and I haven't bought diapers in so long. Like that just made me really excited. So I bought some diapers. I also went and bought some baby washcloths. I'm gonna take these out of the pack and wash them. This pack was $10 for 10 face cloths. I got this at Walmart, it's by Parents' Choice. I use these a lot when I have a newborn baby and I talked about that in my newborn baby must-haves video. I never use baby wipes, like regular baby wipes. Um, probably from newborn to two or three months. I just use water, so I either use these face cloths or I ordered some wipes called water wipes and they're basically just a plain wipe with water with no like cleansing detergent or chemicals on them. Um, but I used a ton of these. Now the only thing is I was in Walmart and I saw these so I bought them. But you can get these at the dollar store and they are the exact same. So if I buy more, which I probably will, I like to have about 20 or 30 of them. Um, I will probably get more at the dollar store, but I got these because these are one of my like essential necessities. I didn't buy any receiving blankets or anything like that because I have all of that from my son. Um, I did buy an outfit to bring him home from the hospital in. I have like probably about five or six things I could choose from. I'm not going to get him all dressed up to bring him home from the hospital. I just wanted to have like a one piece, um, pajama set that has like a zipper that's warm, that's cute. Um, and so I have a couple of new ones, like I said, I'll show them in next week's video. And I also have some of the ones that I took Wilson home in, so um, I might use one of them as well. I do have this cute little jacket to show you guys. So my stepmom gave me a few things this week. Um, and you guys know, like, buffalo plaid is super stylish right now. <laughs> so she bought him this little three-month uh, jacket, and this is from Gel Fresh, so that's something new that I have. And um, she also bought him this really soft plush elephant. And you guys that watch my videos know that Wilson has one of these that's a bear that he's obsessed with. And I bought the baby um, a giraffe one already, but it's just nice to have another one. They're so soft, so I got that. 
And my stepmom also got me these cute, I mean, these won't fit them for a while, but these cute baby pants with the little bear on the bum. This is by a company called Izzy and Owie by Pavilion. Izzy and Owie by Pavilion. And we got this at like a local shop, so it came with the pants um, and this really cute little hat. So I did get a couple of little things. This is one of the things I'm very excited about. I got a new planner. Um, I love having a planner, especially when you're off on maternity leave. I'm going to be off for 18 months. Um, and so I feel like it's nice to try to plan your day and stay a little bit organized. So um, I love having this. The nursery is ready. Baby's probably not even going to go in the nursery for months. Um, but like the change table is all there. And, you know, I have baby wash and lotions and things like that. Um, and Wilson has been sleeping in his new big boy bedroom for just over a month now. So I do feel very prepared in some ways and not really that prepared in other ways. But again, I know the things that I need to buy. So I need an infant car seat, a swing, and um, some kind of a bassinet. So I will be gathering up those things in the next couple weeks. Okay. So next week's video, I'm going to do my 36 week update video and then I'm going to do a separate video. I don't know what I'm going to call it because I feel like I don't want it to be too long, but I'm basically going to show everything that's in my packed hospital bag and I'm going to show you guys the nursery and I'm going to show you guys Wilson's new bedroom, which I'm sitting in right now. Um, but that is pretty much it for this week. I'm going to show you guys my bump and then I'm going to show you a uh, couple of cute clips of Wilson skating. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, you can give it a big thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you can give it a big thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Does anybody else's cat do like literally everything with them? <laughs> Look at Lois.